Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome, actually. So today, welcome back to another Tips and Tricks video here on the channel. We're going to be talking about a bunch of different lamppost designs. Please like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy this video that I got for you guys today. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which lamppost design is your favorite. And also, you guys have any more ideas for tips and tricks? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, starting off here, we got some basic designs here for you guys today. Just some nice, simple spruce. You can use any type of wood that you want, any type of combination you want to do here. It's very customizable, but I just went with the standard spruce wood. And uh, it's the simple, nice fantasy style of lamppost, a traditional style lamppost, if you will that you would kind of see maybe in a fantasy village, something along them lines. Now we have several different designs here, several, di several different varieties. Now I have this because the lanterns here, as you can see, um, we have one with a slab and then one with a trap door. Well, Bedrock, you can't put lanterns on trap doors. Unfortunately, I discovered this while playing Bedrock and I just would make some different designs. It kind of looks like a like a little bit of a duck bill if you're looking at it from the, uh, from the side, these ones especially. Uh, but they're really cool, or it looks like a baseball cap, maybe. That kind of looks cool, too. But, of course, uh, now, with the if you're playing on Bedrock, you can put chains. If you put chains uh, and then a lantern, you can do that just fine. But if you're playing on Bedrock, you can't just simply put a lantern on a trap door, which is a shame. On Java, you can, but on Bedrock, you can't do that, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, these are just some traditional little designs here. Got some signs going around the base with some walls, combination of walls, trap doors, slabs. Pretty easy to follow along here. Nothing too complex. And uh, using different details just to make your way around these lampposts. Moving on down the line here, we have some smaller lamppost designs or little guarded lights, maybe, if you will. Uh, they're not nothing to you know, glamour over. They're just little designs. Simple thing here, just an end rod on top of a lightning rod. Nothing too crazy, just a you know, nice little garden light, maybe a little walkway, pathway light, if you will. Some floating designs here. We have a candle with an end rod. We also got some glass as well. Uh, some unique designs here. Now, these actually don't connect, unfortunately. Like, they don't look like they're sitting on top. They're a little bit floating. But if you're looking at it from a different angle, you can kind of see it's not that bad. Uh, but it's kind of a unique design, nevertheless. And we can use this in the nether. Pretty cool. Going on down the list here with these little kind of like tiki torches. Kind of cool. You know, we got some torches on top of these. We got a fence. We got a lightning rod and an end rod. And then we got candle, the candle variants going down the other side. So you can put candles. We can put torches. Now, if you're looking for light, you'd probably want to put torches. If you want to just have some aesthetics, candles are the way to go. Because uh, they don't light up as much when they're just a single candle like that. But if you want the light, you want to use torches. Now with the traditional designs out of the way, I mean, we had some, a few unique designs. This is when we're going to get a little bit more creative. These designs that you'll see from here on out are going to be a little bit more creative, I think. And give you a little bit more inspiration in to the idea of lampposts and all that good stuff. So... Here we have some azalea bushes. We have some glow berries hanging down. And glow berries actually do provide light. Little did you know. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you knew that. But these are really cool. This is like a traditional style lamppost. It, it looks like the ones that we have down there. But we're using different materials here. We're using an azalea bush. We're using azalea leaves. We're using glow berries hanging off of trap doors. Unsure if you could do this on Bedrock. I'm not too sure. I know there's some different things with Bedrock Edition. Um, but uh, on Java, you can do this just fine. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I personally think this is one of my favorite designs that we'll see today. But uh, just because it's so simple, right? It's a nice, simple. If you have a nice like little fairy garden, you're building a fantasy style village. Uh, maybe you're using like mushroom houses. This could really provide a nice aesthetic to those and something a little different and unique to that. Moving on down the line here, we have some cauldron designs. Now, this is simply just using the cauldron as the base of the lamppost, which I think is a cool idea, and I think it works really, really well. Simple thing, we have a cauldron fire over here. Nice little campfire on top of the cauldron, surrounded by signs. Not too shabby, nice simple little lamppost. Now, this does let out smoke and particles, so keep that in mind. 
this one as well. This is just replaced. This is the same design, just using trap doors instead around the campfire. Kind of a nice uh, little aesthetic there. If maybe if you're going for more of a wintry style of uh, village, maybe you want to have like a some of these, you know, maybe a fire along the pathway to keep warmth some sense like that but going on down the line here we have a nice sort of modern design now this is the iron lamppost because it uses a lot of iron you have an anvil very expensive but it does look cool nevertheless you can see the color scheme is pretty on point here and uh, you can change this up how you like uh, it's very customizable as well you can make it a one you could put just a lamp up here you could have lamps dangled down you know you could you can go crazy with this one I that's why I like this one a lot now, I'm going to call this one the redstone lamp. Now, obviously, it uses a redstone lamp, but it has a lot. It's all made out of redstone components. It's made out of daylight sensor. Well, in this case, a moonlight sensor, because when it'll it'll detect the moonlight and it'll come on at night. So which works really nicely. Uh, so it's one of those lampposts that is going to turn off and on. It's going to be really convenient in that sense, if that's something you're looking for. And it uses p the piston as, as its base, which Honestly, this looks like a really good lamppost. If you're just using this around the village, it, uh, it's, it, it works really perfectly. So, yeah, all we have underneath here, the power is just a redstone torch. Yeah, it's made out of all redstone components, so a very easy lamppost design. So now we're deterring away, really, from what a lamppost actually is and kind of redefining it a little bit. But this is really cool, nevertheless. I, I think this is a really creative idea. We got a slime lamppost here. Uh, or just a slime blob with some lamps hanging off of it. But either way, I think it looks really, really cool. Combination of uh, some glass panes hanging down, lanterns dangling down from the slime as well. Some candles just around the area just to give it even more light. And moss mixed in just to add for a little extra texture. Really comes together. Really, really looks cool. And a variant of that would be the sl or the honey lamp post so you know you have honey gooping down we have actually a little bees nest with some bees in it they were flying around here earlier i don't know what happened to them but yeah we got some flowers around just so that they you know kind of fly around this part of the lamp post it looks really cool honeycomb as well just everything kind of mashed together and it actually looks pretty cool and pretty unique it's something to look at that's for sure but I really like these two lamppost designs. Again, another crazy one here, the Azalea lamppost. And there's the bees, they just popped out. <laughs> kind of distracted me there, but hey, nevertheless, something really cool. Something just, something like, again, just to look at. Something just to really admire and just, I don't know. It's not, this could blend into some sort of nature-y area. It's not gonna, it's not gonna poke out like a sore thumb. Again, we're using the glow berries as our lighting here. I think it looks really, really cool. So, yeah, we're using the, the fence post as, like, our hold up everything. And we have a azalea bush in there. And, you know, flowering azalea leaves all just around. Just to add for a lot of color. A lot of, like, that fantasy feel. Which looks really, really cool. So, yeah, you could scatter this around, you know, throughout a forest or something. And it would look really cool. And finally, of course... A mushroom lamppost design oh yeah now this is quite this is probably the biggest one out of them all because it's a little difficult to make it look like a mushroom without like going a little bit bigger than usual but this is probably about the size i was able to make it work and it does work i'll tell you i do like this so we have trap doors here with some shroom light under it and we use a combination of concrete to create the, the base of the mushroom here the stem and then we have uh, ports to create the actual stem. And then the top over here is made out of concrete. So, yeah, it just looks really cool. It, it comes together and it, it takes that shape of a mushroom. And really, it's just acting as a lighting. You know, it's just acting as lighting. Uh, so you probably wouldn't have these, e uh, you know, every so often. That's what you, 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 you don't want to have it like every single part of your pathway. It's, it's, it's really a big lamppost, but it still works, right? It still works, and it gets the idea across like, hey, this is just a mushroom that's providing light along the side of a pathway every so often, which looks really cool. But yeah, that is all the lampposts that I have for you guys today. We had a bunch of unique ones in there. We had some traditional style. We had some just really cool ideas, and I hope that I give you guys some ideas 
and give you some inspiration that can help you in your own builds, in your survival worlds, your creative worlds, whatever have you. If you did like it, do leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content just like this. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which lamppost is your favorite and what you guys would like to see next in the Building Tips and Tricks series. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. As always, don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you guys next time.